Hello wonderful people and welcome back to a new video. My name is Evelyn Borta and yes I know that I look a little bit different today. My hair is different um, and actually it looks quite dark now but in reality it is it's much lighter and it will take me some time to get used to it but I will. So today I wanted to bring up the liquids again and to talk about the spiritual consequences of taking the liquid like what is really happening on a soul level and this is something that I kind of covered a little bit in the past and I have a lot of material about the liquids on my beach shoot and things that I could not discuss here on YouTube and um, I thought to bring up this topic again and to talk about it because we are still dealing with it and we are dealing with it on a metaphysical level as well, not only on a physical level. So if you want to know more about the liquids, you can go on my beach shoot. You will find the link in the description box below. And you will find videos there from last year where I covered this topic. However, I did not discuss a lot about the metaphysical aspects and what is going on on a soul level. What are the consequences? And uh, I thought to talk about this in today's video and that is because one of my beautiful patreon members sent me an amazing message and sent me this link of an article that is discussing in depth this topic so thank you so much sean for your beautiful message and thank you for sending me that article because that inspired me to talk about this topic in today's video and it's a long article i will <clears throat> link it down below as well but uh, i will summarize what is in that article and the research of many therapists many energy healers as well and what they experienced in terms of uh, patients that they worked with before and after getting the liquids and what is happening on an energetic level what is happening on an astral level with people's energy body etheric body and then also what are the consequences in the afterlife as well so thank you so much sean again i think this is a very very important topic because we are still being influenced by the liquids and we have to know about these consequences now what i wanted to say is that this is a topic that not everyone will like this is a topic that many people will reject maybe many of you as well that are watching this video okay so take only what resonates leave the rest behind and i also wanted to say that those of you that are expecting me to only talk about love and light topics and maybe channel messages that are full of love and light and i would be so much more popular on youtube if i did that i can guarantee you but that is not the case and i don't want to do that because i want to talk about reality and reality and the reality and the horror of our society is not easy to digest to everyone so if you are expecting me to do that then i will tell you that this is not your channel then please find other channels that are talking about only love and light topics now i'm totally aware with the fact that when we are talking about these conspiracies which are actually reality things can go very easily in a very imbalanced direction in a direction of doom and gloom like to to a degree of paranoia but this is not the case here. I'm sharing information and I'm just a fellow traveler. First of all, I'm doing all this for myself, for my own learning. And I'm sharing information with you, information that I'm learning as well. And I'm learning in the process. So absolutely take only what resonates. And my personal truth is this, and I'm sharing my personal truth, but my personal truth can change tomorrow. But in this very given moment, this is my personal truth and I'm sharing that. So I'm bringing up this topic now because I have received quite a lot of criticism in the past from individuals, but I didn't really talk about this particularly in my videos. And now I felt like I need to address this because just recently an individual said in one of my videos that people should not trust me because I am a wolf in a sheep's clothing and they should do their research about me and to find out who I really am. Now, I would like to encourage everyone, including you who commented, because I'm 100% sure that you have no clue about my work. You have just come across one video that didn't resonate and then you're jumping to conclusions. But whatever is the case, please give me arguments for why you are saying what you are saying. And yes, I'm encouraging you to do your research about me and let me know what you have found. So feel free to do that, okay? Now, the other reason that I wanted to bring this up is, yeah, one is to tell you that, no, you should not listen to me. You should find your own truth. 
but the other reason that i wanted to bring this up is because people on youtube and especially spiritual communities but then in general they still have we still have this mentality about the the customer is always right and i used to work in customer service a lot back in london and london is the hot spot of uh, having to kiss your customers in the ass i'm sorry to be very vulgar but this is the case and I hated that. I have been always a black sheep. I've been always a rebel. And I remember that I always had these very entitled customers, very entitled clients. They thought that they could have whatever they wanted just because they were clients, especially clients with money. So they were taking advantage 100% of their position. And you don't have management to back you up. You have a management that is expecting you to kiss your client's ass sorry again but this is the reality this is the society that we are living in and i think that i'm speaking for many of us especially those that are working in customer service so what happens when you're living in such big city where you have to pay your bills but obviously it is not about the city it's about your mentality you begin to conform to the rules because there's a fear there that you will lose that position and uh, it depends your survival is depending on it right so this is that conforming mentality and i tried to do that it didn't work for too long and when you are a black sheep you will be the black sheep in the school you will be the black sheep at your workplaces and in other communities as well because you are the rebel one so i wanted it so badly to tell those customers to fuck off and i couldn't and today i have a youtube channel and this is a perfect opportunity for me to heal that aspect of me. So today I'm going to tell you that I'm not compromising my truth. I am here to speak my truth and many people don't like that. But today, those of you that feel entitled to criticize my work just because it's not matching with your views or you're not ready for the information, I'm going to tell you to please get out of my channel. And instead of criticizing someone else's truth, go and find your own because you are probably confused about your own truth. So I don't resonate with every single person's belief system. <laughs> In fact, there are a very few people that I can resonate with, but I'm not going to go to their channel and criticize their work. Okay. So today you are my customers and this is healing for me. And this is why I'm talking about this. I'm doing it for myself. And I encourage everyone, when you go in a very extreme direction where you have compromised your truth for a long time, you need to experience the opposite direction of that in order to heal. And this is healing for me right now that I'm telling you to get out. It is not a very empowered place to be in. Maybe it's not, but this is what I need right now. Maybe like in a few months time, when I look back to this video, I would say that, oh my God, why did I say that? But in this very moment, I'm honoring my truth which is this is my truth right now that yes i'm pissed off about people that are anonymous and they feel entitled to criticize someone without even giving any normal arguments and uh, they feel entitled to just act out on these channels yes i'm pissed off about that i'm angry some of you might say that oh evelyn that's not very spiritual someone who is having a spiritual channel should not talk like that yes it should yes it is super spiritual and you know why because it's human and everything that is human is spiritual this body is spiritual being in this body is very spiritual having sex is very spiritual being outside of your body and being into this love and light bullshit spirituality and bypassing, that's not spiritual. There's nothing spiritual about that. That is bypassing, that is dissociation, which is happening due to trauma and it's happening in the childhood. Dissociation is happening when the child doesn't know how to handle a situation and the consciousness splits in that moment. Okay, so being outside of your body and rejecting darkness and being in the spiritual bubble is dissociation and there's nothing spiritual about that. You have to bring yourself back into the body. And I'm going to tell you, if you feel triggered by the fact that I'm angry right now and I'm expressing that, then look at your own anger and what is your relationship with your own anger. And maybe it's time for us to accept ourselves and our emotions and not to be afraid of them. So I wanted to bring this up because it's healing for me now to talk about this. And the other reason is that we have to change our mentality about the customer being always right. And we have to stop compromising our truth. 
because if I cannot be myself on this channel and I cannot talk about my truth and I have to compromise my truth because, oh my God, what is going to be the feedback? Then I don't want this. I don't want to do this. That would mean that I'm still shooting myself in the foot. And this is a very sensitive topic on YouTube and uh, when it comes to any customer service because people are, oh my God, so terrified of losing their subscribers. So they don't even bring up this topic. I love that you are subscribing to my channel. I love that I can help. First of all, that I can help myself because I'm learning. And if I can help you with that, with my journey as well, because we are learning together, then that is what matters here, but not like how many likes or how many subscribers I have. That's not the point. I, I want to speak my truth. All right, so this was uh, the message to the haters, but I know that they are just a reflection of the darkness that is within me. Because yes, I am dark, and so you are. But the difference is that I'm not afraid to own that. So you shouldn't be afraid to own that either. All right, so let's get into the liquids now. And this report that uh, was sent to me by Sean. So this uh, very interesting article. So this particular page is called Veil of Reality where the person that wrote this article, it's a very, very interesting article. As I said, it's a long one. So if you want to go through that and read it, it will be down below in the description. And this article is basically a summary of a 100-page PDF document that is also a summary of a bigger book that was written by Thomas Meyer. And uh, it's basically an in-depth research and analysis of what is happening with the human soul after getting inoculated and also what is happening to the soul after death. It is containing lots of excerpts and case studies. And uh, this is what the article is discussing and what I want to discuss in this video and to discuss this information that was collected from many therapists and energy healers that have worked with patients and that got the liquids and what was the difference in their energy field before and after getting the liquids. So what is very important to understand here that we cannot generalize, this is what the article is saying as well, because everyone is reacting differently to the liquids. So that is subject to how many doses the person got, how many boosters, the level of being of the person, the spiritual development of the person as well. It depends on their karmic lessons, on their trauma that was transmuted before that as well. And then also how the spiritual defense mechanism of that person is working. So it differs from individual to individual. The physical symptoms after getting the doses is just the tip of the iceberg. So just because someone does not experience physical symptoms or physical um, unpleasant consequences, that doesn't mean that they are not being affected on a metaphysical level, on a soul level, because every single individual is being affected to a certain degree, but differently. And we as a collective as well, we are being affected by those individuals that got the liquids. And from what I understood from this article, and it makes total sense for me, and I'm so glad that I came across this, is that each and every of these liquids, you know, the different brands, they are all representing a specific collective consciousness. They have a specific blueprint, a specific energy. And when I calibrated the energy level of them, I was saying in one of my videos that the lowest energy level that I calibrated was the one that is starting with P, so those ones, those doses, and the other ones were a little bit higher frequency, but all of them are very, very dangerous. And I would say that getting the liquids is a Russian roulette. It's like almost playing Russian roulette with them. So this research, as I said, is being based on different testimonies of different therapists. And there were many testimonies like that. And the first report that I wanted to talk about was from May 2021 from Germany, where two craniosacral therapists are describing what they experienced on a client. So craniosacral therapy is uh, working with the craniosacral rhythm. It's like a pause between the cranium and the sacrum. And it's almost like the breath of life. So the life force energy that can be perceived by a therapist. And these um, therapists are saying that it is almost impossible not to perceive that life force energy in someone. The stronger this pulse is, the healthier the organism is. 
So these therapists are able to perceive the client's energetic body by taking their feet in their hand or their head. They can perceive by the energetic body and the energetic flow if the person has any blockages and where they have the blockages. So what happened when they were dealing with clients that got the liquids? They said that this life force energy wasn't perceivable on those people. And they describe this as a very shocking experience. And one of them is saying that they have never experienced that in 20 years, where the pineal gland wasn't perceivable either, and the chakras were not perceivable, and then the etheric body wasn't perceivable either. And they are describing two different cases here. And one of the patients showed some improvement after doing a lot of energy work on them. So after a while, their etheric body started to be perceivable and their pineal gland was perceivable as well, but the other one showed no improvement at all. There's a therapist that is describing this experience as they had the feeling that there was a dark being on top of the client, inhibiting all functions. They said, quote-unquote, that no rhythm, complete rigidity, like a dark, black, formless being, which laid itself around the upper part, as if around it, holding on in a kind of strangulation movement at the etheric larynx and wearing around. Many of them are describing this feeling as a glued feeling, like being glued. And then also they are saying that the being had to be calmed down at the end of each session, which was buzzing around restlessly and irritated. So the being itself and I just wanted to say that this Thomas Meyer's work is based on the work of Rudolf Steiner. So he's re referencing Steiner a lot and his metaphysical knowledge. And the beings, I'm not going to talk about in detail what kind of beings are being found in these liquids, but you can find it in the article. But he's talking about certain vaccine beings and also other dark entities that are targeting the etheric body and are targeting the aura. And I talked about this in my videos on Be Truth already, that these beings are actually conscious. These dark entities are being attached to the etheric body to cause distortions. So this glued feeling is being observed by many of these therapists. And as I said, in one client's um, case and many clients as well, there was no improvement in their energetic body and in their etheric body. And they also reported that the patient doesn't have any perception of the being that is attached to them and they cannot experience and comprehend these observations. So many of these patients, many of these individuals that got the liquid, they don't have any observation and any awareness of something being changed in their etheric body. However, there are other reports and one of them is from June 2021 from Arrhythmic Mosos who is reporting that the tissues of clients that got the liquid are solidified, they are no longer mobile as they used to be and they are no longer able to pulsate either. They also report visible changes in the client's face as well and they say that the eye, so the soul, is almost like is, is being pushed into the background. So old basic fears, illusions, rigid ideas, patterns can reappear suddenly with these people. So as I said, there's no awareness of anything particular changing in the person's energetic body. Not all the individuals can observe these changes on themselves, even though the therapist, the energy healer can see them, maybe even clairvoyantly and can sense them as well. However, many people are describing after getting the liquids, old fears and old basic um, illusions and these negative emotions just coming up and negative thoughts. So what the liquids are doing essentially is that they are lowering a person's vibrational frequency by almost creating a barrier between the person's soul and the body. So the person is no longer able to connect to their consciousness and they are no longer able to connect to their inner guidance. And working with these individuals that got the liquid is quite frightening. It's, an, it's a frightening experience for a therapist. And many of them are describing the need to protect themselves even more and to call upon the Christ consciousness for protection.
yeah it's a very shocking experience so there's another report from april 2021 from a psychotherapist from germany who is saying that when working with clients that got the injection and because they have worked with those particular individuals before they got the injection they describe their work afterwards with them as they no longer are able to reach and experience them completely and it's getting them much much longer to get in touch with the person's soul with the person's eye as they are behind a concrete wall and when i was reading this this sentence that it feels like they are behind a concrete wall i could totally resonate with that because unfortunately this is how i felt with some people as well that i knew from before getting that thing and afterwards it's almost like you are no longer able to reach them they are there physically but they are not there and that is the saddest realization for me that unfortunately this is the case with many people so the clients are no longer there even though they are physically there and uh, she is describing or he this uh, psychotherapist one exception so there's one exception one woman from those people that got the liquid and uh, apparently this woman meditates and and thought for a long time whether or not to take the liquid so with this person the therapist doesn't feel the separation that feels with other clients and she was able to transform the spiritual effects as well so that's why i was uh, mentioning that it depends on the person's spiritual level and level of consciousness and uh, how they were like what was their intention behind getting the liquid so that is great news because it's showing that not everything is lost and these cases are not lost cases it's all subject to the person's free will and to what degree they are in touch with their soul and with their higher self before getting the liquid because I feel like if a person was very inclined to materialism, which was the first in the first place, that's why they got the liquid, they will be more inclined. But if a person wasn't cut off from their divine essence and from their soul essence, and they have a lot of awareness behind getting the liquid, they know what these liquids are representing on an occult level and spiritual level and esoteric level, then they might be able to transmute these negative effects however i will say it again <clears throat> this is like playing russian roulette so there are more reports from therapists and practitioners and i will go through them very quickly because there's so much more that i want to discuss so one therapist says that their dogs did not greet the client as they did before so the dogs could feel that something was off after the person getting the liquid they are describing in many cases the aura field of the clients being torn as they were disembodied they are describing a strange color of the face as well so the face is changing in many cases and the aura becomes gray and collapses and that is not the case with everyone so it depends on the person's uh, level of consciousness apparently some people's aura remains the same remains colorful but in many cases the aura is like a smooth gray surface it's like concrete so they describe this feeling of a concrete the aura is cracked broken and unprotected from foreign energies so these foreign energies can go in and out and the person is unprotected so what these liquids are doing is that and the, the entities they are creating holes in the person's aura but that is also subject to the person's level of fragmentation the fragmentation of the soul and how much of their karmic lessons and trauma have um, they have transmuted also the limb nodes are swollen in many cases the life energy is low and some of them are describing a strange sweetish unpleasant smell that these people have that got the liquids the aura is tethered and the energy field can be found next to the body so in many cases the the soul leaves the body so the person is no longer aligned with their soul so the energy field can be a little bit like half of it may be outside of the body or it can be like completely out of the body so separate from the body basically and i think what the liquids are also doing is that they are creating further fragmentation 
because when the body receives the liquid often happens that this is a shock for the soul and it's a shock for the body as well so what the soul does and what the consciousness does is that it fragments further it separates it splits it creates fragmentation the body cannot do that but the consciousness does that all the time when it's being um, faced with trauma this is trauma for the soul as well receiving the liquid and uh, yeah the liquids are creating further and further fragmentation so they are amplifying the trauma so if uh, the soul looked like a wreck clairvoyantly then this will amplify it further it will be even more damaged it will be even more there will be even more destruction to the soul the article talks about a case also where an energy healer describes a diagnosis so i'm gonna just read it for you quote unquote what this um, energy healer is saying the scariest thing was when i worked on the heart chakra i connected with the soul so she was detached from the physical body she had no contact and it was as if she was floating in a state of total confusion so the soul was floating in a state of total confusion it seemed like the soul could not receive any more light or energy even when the healer was trying to to send it more light and more energy so the consciousness is so detached that it can no longer interact with the body so this is not only about damaging the immune system but it's about damaging the soul as well and the physical symptoms as i said are only the tip of the iceberg so what are the conclusions so as a conclusion which this article is also talking about is that in most cases there's a big time losing the guidance within so that is why the patients are looking for external guidance the human beings becomes more strongly bound to matter as well that is something that i noticed as well on these people that are they are very uh, they became more and more materialistic they have a very hard time saying goodbye to the system because of that as well so they are being more and more immersed into the system a separation from the angel from the guardian angel occurs as well and from the higher self so they can no longer feel each other also what rudolf steiner describes as the double of a person like the karma and shadow self connects itself more strongly with the human being after receiving the liquid there's a strengthening of the ego as well and lowering of the eye so lowering of the soul the ego is more pronounced more self-confident as well it has a more self-confident appearance so i believe that in terms of the level of consciousness an individual goes from above 200 which is above courage to below 200 and 175 is the level of pride so they are more and more uh, self-centered in that sense and the level of fe feeling superior when it comes to other people as well also there's a feeling of being cut off from the spiritual world so less and less interest in spiritual things in the divine the soul is separated and holes are created in the astral and energy body as well so holes that are making it possible for other energies and entities to just come in and go whenever they want go in and out sorry about the noise that i'm making <laughs> with my notes so there are a few other impressions of various practitioners as well conducting these investigations when it comes to the behavior like changing the behaviors of these patients many of them are no longer feeling the need to think and to decide for themselves they are very happy about content to follow and instructions to follow and no questions asked everything doesn't really matter this is the feeling that these people are describing there's a distance between other individuals and them no connection no feeling no social contacts and the emotional life is cold for some some individuals things should be strictly organized so they have this uh, obsession with things being organized which is coming from anxiety so like ocd is coming from anxiety and i talked in one of my videos on beach shoot that these uh, particles that have been found in the things they are self-assembling they have this self-assembling uh, ability self-organizing ability as well and that is showing 
I believe that this is what is showing in the behavior of these individuals as well. So that's not the case with everyone. But if someone becomes like all of a sudden obsessed with being organized, then that can come from that, in my opinion. So they are wishing for order. They feel resigned on the run and they experience shame. So this experience of shame and malice as well in many cases. The distance to other people feels good. No interest, no empathy, just want to function in their professional life as well. So many of them describe that, that they just want to function. No ability to meditate. And when they try to meditate, they are like bumping into a wall and they are being pushed back. And that is because the consciousness is so separated from the body. So these are the, the conclusions and the investigation about the behaviors. And these are some patterns that are being found in the case of, of many people. But then the liquids also have a big imp impact on the afterlife of the soul. So there was a group of people that investigated those that deceased after getting the thing. And there are a few patterns that the article is discussing there as well. And it is also saying that not only the liquids are causing damage in the soul when it comes to the afterlife, but then also certain medical procedures like chemotherapy and other drugs. And that can make a soul very earthbound. The spirit becomes earthbound when it is, passes away. And um, a spirit can become earthbound if it's very materialistic, if they have a very materialistic thinking as well. So what is happening after death is that certain unresolved traumas and these suppressed old energies become like a blockade that the soul is unable to get past without external help, without energy help. It cannot solve it for itself. So it cannot resolve it for itself because it is so disconnected from that angelic realm, from the higher self. So what is being described here that many of these souls that passed away after getting the liquid, they remained earthbound. And the case studies of these deceased people are saying that the etheric body was contracted and tense after passing away and the soul was chained to it it was chained to the etheric body lonely and disoriented in darkness no perception of angels and a condition like this can take many centuries to change so it can take many many centuries for the soul's condition to change so the souls were mostly in a dark place filled with fear no contact with other souls and this is the best case scenario when a soul remains earthbound. But in other cases, not all of them, but some of them, some of these spirits, some of the souls were pulled down into lower astral levels. So into the eighth sphere and then other levels as well. And what is happening with these entities is that they are negatively influencing the incarnated souls that are in contact with them. And there can be even spirit attachments to the living population. So that's why I was saying that this is still and it will affect us metaphysically. It will affect us as a collective metaphysically. Because if these souls are remaining earthbound or they are remaining on the lower astral levels, it means that they are unable to pass through the moon lock. So what the liquids are doing ultimately is that they are making it hard and very difficult or almost impossible for an organic evolution to take place by the transmutation of karma and by the transmutation of traumas as well. And if that doesn't happen, then the soul gets recycled in a sense, or it has to start its incarnation process from the very beginning. So this is a degenerate path. And we are getting to transhumanism here. And it's almost like preventing the soul from reincarnating because it is still stuck in the astral plane or is still earthbound. That can last for many centuries, but it can last even for 1,000 years. So it is controlling our incarnation process in a way. It is trying to control our incarnation process. However, our free will is playing the biggest part here. But what is the problem in this case is that many of the individuals that opted in to get the liquid, they have given away their free will. 
So this is where the problem begins. And that is why it is so hard to transmute the effects of the liquids because free will is involved there. But it's important to understand, as I said at the beginning of the video, that we cannot generalize because everyone is being affected in a different way. And it is all subject to one person's level of awareness and the intention behind getting the liquid. And I also believe that the effects are different for an adult than to a child. And free will is different in a case of a child than in a case of an adult. So there is a huge spiritual responsibility when we decide to opt into an alternate reality like that that is being created by these negative entities. And we have to take spiritual responsibility for that. If you have gotten the liquid, then this is a good time to say no to the rest of these medical procedures and any medical procedure that is messing with your DNA. And also the article is talking about great methods and what steps to take if you want to work energetically on your body and uh, what to take in consideration when you want to find a good practitioner, a good energy healer, because not everyone will be able to transmute these negative effects. So I suggest everyone to look up this article because you will find great information there. So yeah, this was the video and uh, it is not... This is not a topic that is easy to digest for everyone. I will come back with more information if I have any more information or any more psychic insights about the liquids. But I really wanted to put this out because this is one of the most important videos that I ever made. So thank you again for everyone who is supporting me on my journey. And uh, thank you so much for everyone who is here and who is supporting me on my Patreon as well. I'm greatly, greatly appreciating you, every single one of you. And if any of you has any observations about the liquids and anything to share, then please do that in the comment section. I would be very curious about your opinion. So thank you again for being here. Take care, everybody. And I cannot wait to see you next time.